So we're given this graph of y equals f of x. We want to construct the graph of y equals f of x minus 2 plus 1. The f of x minus 2 means shift everything two places to the right. So we can take our major points first. We're going to shift them two points to the right. So I will go ahead and do that. Shifted two to the right, 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 shifted two to the right. And then we want to shift the plus one that will tell me to shift one place up. So I will do that. Taking all of the green points, if you can see the color on here, up one, up one, up one, up one, up one, and up one. So this one, two over one up, this one, two over one up. So I'm going to connect those two here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So notice it's on that same portion of the graph as it turns out, right? And then one, oh, this is not a point because that was a black, not a purple dot. Yes, and then what do I do? So this one is shifted two over one up. So that continues down here. This point shifted two over one up. That goes here. And then my ending point, which was originally here, shifted two over one up should actually be there. So that's what that'll look like as we shift two places over and one. Notice the same shape everything is shifted to over one up. The next one I want to do the graph of negative f of x. So basically we turn everything into its negative version. So zero and negative zero are the same. The next interesting point is here at four three, so it's got to go down to four negative three. And this is a reflection through the x-axis. Six zero negative zero is still zero. This one is negative three, make that positive three. This one is negative three, make that positive three. So as I attempt to draw this, given the fact that it was a reflection through the x-axis, we get the same shape, but flipped upside down, given a reflection. Okay, this last part, we wanna construct the graph of y equals f of negative x. To do this, that is a reflection through the y-axis. So I don't really have enough room here on this page to do it, um, but you'll notice I have how many points of interest. I have those five points. So the points on y equals f of x, what do I get? I get the point negative two, zero. I get the point four, three. I get the point six, zero. I have the point eight, negative three. And I have the point 11, negative three. So those are the points that I have on the line uh, y equals f of x. If I want y equals f of negative x, I take all the x values and change their sign, flip them on the other side of the y axis. So negative two, zero becomes positive two, zero. You see how that's gonna work? This one flips over here. Four, three would move, become negative four, three, which is somewhere over there. Six, zero becomes negative six, zero. Eight, negative three becomes negative eight, negative three. 11, negative three becomes negative 11, negative three. So let's go ahead and graph those new points, those five points that help define this function. 
on Desmos if I can. So let's go to Desmos. So here's the new points that I have. I have two zero. I have negative four three. I have negative six zero. I have negative eight negative three. And I have negative eleven negative three. So you can see those points. The graph will go from here to here, down here, and then over. So connecting those points again, what do we see? We see the graph looks like that. So again, a mirror image through the y-axis for that function.